Hello and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Mechanicus, a mission to retake a planet for the betterment of the Imperium. And real quick, I had a bit of an epiphany while I was uh, fiddling around with stuff uh, at the end of the last episode. I just did a little bit of screwing around looking at stuff to get, kind of get prepped for today. I had a, uh, the idea that, hold on, if I can find the bastard, there we are, Manarius here gets a buff to plus four range for all ranged weapons, right? And that's sick. That is incredible. We're also getting a lot better at um, getting cognition points, so I was kind of wondering if we can get another flamethrower, if it would apply to the flame spread as well, because that would make for an amazing uh, AoE counter to some of the things that he has to put up and deal with. Sounds sick, right? So I think that is going to be something that we end up doing, because I am all kinds of hype for that. Now let's double check this, plus one, yeah, it's still active, okay, cool. And to get a flamethrower, we can go ahead and do this mission, which he keeps screaming at me for finding fuel anyway, so I guess uh, it's got like basic stuff right here and a Necron warrior right there, so I guess we can go ahead and do that. We'll come back and probably do like a Vanguard upgrade after this, give them bigger pew pew guns deal with uh, other nasty stuff there. Maybe you'll get a cognition size increase. A lot of things to potentially do. And then there's just the third seal, which I'm still fairly interested in. But I want to try out that flamethrower thing, so we're going to head out this way. Bring all the lads, and then we'll bring two rust stalkers. And uh, I think we're going to bring two infiltrators as well. Kind of, Kind of seems good. They got a bit of an upgrade, they can make themselves untargetable. I don't know if that costs uh, cognition to use. Doesn't look like it does, because you can see the cognition use over here on this right there. So, it probably has a pretty high cooldown, but in exchange, they can just kind of get up in there without worrying about being burned down immediately. So we're going to go ahead and keep going. Stable orbit, quartermaster, blah blah blah. We need fuel. We're going down here to try and find stuff to get it, apparently. And somehow it's going to be in this tomb, which, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, if I sound a little distracted or off my game right now, it's because I've spent... I'm doing it a little bit later in the day than I normally would uh, be recording stuff, but... Uh, the update for... or the update announcement for one of the uh, upcoming DLCs for Warhammer... Uh, Total Warhammer came out today, so I'm just like... I'm just all about that. Look, oh, it looks like we're being forced into doing two fights here. Luckily... We came loaded for bear with some of our best stuff. I'm not sure what they can throw at us. I'm not expecting a whole lot. Yeah, they got like Necron warriors, so <laughs> this is kind of already over. And it might be a little sad. Uh, Leonardus here. Actually, trade with Jeremiah. Oh god, hold on. Wish you can just do it like an exchange whenever you click on a pre-existing spot. There we go. Only three spots to get in, so I guess we can put you right there and that'll be fine. Let's go. Oh, uh, we just did this map recently too, didn't we? I don't know. I guess I just expected more diversity. Not that I really mind. Alright. Oh, turn start getting a heal and cognition. What are you going to do about that? Uh, can we yoink this from here? It doesn't look like it. Can we go over here and yoink stuff? Let's see, something we can shoot. It must be something we can scan over there. That's pretty sick. We're gonna head all the way here. Use our yoink matic to take this cognition right there. I think we're gonna take this as well. Ah, eh, that seems fine. Now we can do our blaster to scan or destroy that. I think we're going to destroy it, if at all possible. Let's go ahead and up our energy damage for this turn. And... Yeah, there we go. Alright, that's one dead. And the awakening going down by two points. And now we just have to kill all enemies, which... Uh, I hesitate to think will be a big problem. I'm going to go ahead and shoot him and try and cleave kill that. Oh, we didn't cleave kill it. I could have sworn that was going to happen. Huh. Well, how about that? Oh, well, if that's the case, let's uh, go ahead 
go ahead and you know who's coming up next Aquarius I think he generates one if we don't have any but we do have plenty so it's not that big of a deal let's go ahead and grab this cognition right there uh, what guns do you have sir I totally forget All right, we'll move up here and that's the farthest then we will phosphor shoot you just wondering if we can take you out with our other piece we cannot which is kind of a sad thing but we'll be okay I think we're fine for all of this we're not gonna use that for that there's no reason to do it we'll just pass oh yeah I forgot we just broke his movement didn't we that feels pretty good uh, we're avoiding attacks of opportunity because we are untargetable until we attack let's go ahead and do that real quick we can do a spray it'll take two and it might kill him I'm unsure uh, I think no matter what we do here though we are going to move right there so we can turn and shoot him with a pot with the uh, the phosphor pistol let's go ahead and do this real quick six and acid We've hurt ourselves a tiny bit. That's fine. Uh, bu -bu -bu. We don't really care about our provoking attacks opportunity because, no, well, there's no reason to. I guess we're just gonna hold on to the skull here. You know what? I'm actually gonna. Yeah, we'll do it like this. We're gonna provoke the attack. It's gonna do like a one point, and we don't care because we have physical armor. And a kick is not going to do a whole hell of a lot to us. Oh, it looks like we got to move up a little bit closer. We'll go right here. Then we'll shoot him. That should be enough to drop him, I imagine. Yep, there we are. Especially if we get that guaranteed crit damage on him. Then we can just back her up here. Heal ourselves up a few points with our tendrils. I'm really overthinking this. This is a super easy mission. Uh, pass. We can find a way to guarantee the death of these two on this turn. That would be amazing, but I do not really see that happening. Um, Foster Serpenta would kill him. Which, yeah, let's go ahead and just Foster Serpenta him. Why not? Run up, do that. Ooh, hold on, maybe I've got this figured out. Go over here, take this, and then call a troop in anywhere. Gonna call in a Rust Stalker right there. Done. It's gonna get a turn for a chop, and then on its follow up, when he tries to run away from us, he's gonna get chopped again. Ah, that still doesn't do it in time, does it? Crap. Oh well, I felt like we had a solid idea. He should still die before he gets to do anything really impactful. Er, I don't want to shoot. A delay. Uh, we'll run up here and do this, I suppose. Here's our Phosphor Blast. Yeah, he, he's dead. <laughs> he's gonna die. And it will be a bad experience for him. Guaranteed, with minimum 3 damage, he goes down. Gets hit for 6. Goes to the Shadow Realm. And this fight we're forced into next, we're going to go into full cognition. Mm -hmm. Take the dangerous jail, probably get hurt. Uh, the mission will fail, the cohort loss is... Uh, might do more awakening, it might give them more... Oh no, actually it gives us a cognitive canister, wow! Wow, don't we have a, a thing for this? One of our people? Target a tree with its next basic attack is enormous. Takes a lot of augmentation to use it, but holy shit. That's gonna go on Leonardus as soon as we get back. Almost guaranteed. Alright, big fight. No, big fight, quote unquote. It's probably not gonna be that big of a deal. A scanner destroy. Uh, I guess we'll do Leo way back here. Jeremiah here, the artillery piece there, and you'll move in the middle right there, why not? Uh... 
I guess we'll put an infiltrator down right here. I'm getting that for free. Uh, let's just move up here. I wonder if we can hit everybody with this. Yes, we can. Such an amazing ability to have a cleaving gun on this guy. Now, well, hold on. Does it hit more than one dude? No. No, it does not. So, we're just going to do this. And obviously we can't hit him, but we can go ahead and take him out at least. Very, very good. That's up to a healthy chunk of cognition. Speaking of, we're going to go over here and yank this so he can't steal it from us since we are so damn fast, apparently. And I think that's all we can do for our turn. Uh, maybe if we move over here, we can go ahead and... Oh, hold on. You know what? We'll go ahead all the way over to here. I think we'll go so far as to just stand here and spin one to get two at the beginning of the next turn. Because I have a feeling with how this map is uh, kind of stuck on one point. Like we have these really central walkways and everyone's kind of spread out. We're not going to be able to just kind of cheatsy our way through it. So we'll move around to this side. And we have so much healing and ability to heal ourselves. So ridiculous. Fast turn. Uh... We'll start our infiltrator movement going in. Can't shoot anything, which is a pain, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we got that three armor though, so it's not that big of a deal there either. Honestly, this is just a kind of just a run through it type of mission. It's a bit of a wash, all things considered. Uh. You know what? Let's go ahead and just kind of see what you're all about. It's not a lot. If we really wanted to, we can run up and handle him this turn with our axe. Do we want to do that? I mean, kind of. Takes a lot of points to do it, but... Uh, it is a dead enemy that we no longer have to worry about, so... We'll lean into it. Why not? Yep. Destructions of Destiny of the Xeno, indeed. Do we heal you up again? I suppose there's no reason not to do it. We have another one if we need to have it next turn. And this guarantees that he's topped off in case somehow we miraculously handle all of this before the uh, last turn on this map. Let's end it there. Uh, similar line of thinking. Let's go ahead and deploy a dude all the way over there. It will be a Rust Stalker. Right there. It will be buffed. Higher chance of critting. Feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, this is a canister that we already have, and we're definitely going to take off stuff to use the better one. What that will be, I'm not sure. Uh, we could walk up and Phosphorus Repenta and potentially one-shot this boy here. We're going to go for it, try and live the dream. Oh, he is a lot tougher than I thought. Basic Necrons coming out the woodwork with mega damage. Alright. Go ahead and... Mm, not enough to kill. That's fine. Go ahead and take this. Uh, no need to bring in any more Rust Stalkers or anything, I don't think. So, we'll just sit here. We'll repair. We'll do our big arc blast or do we want to use the Volkite blaster? Eh, we'll take it. And then we'll just use the Volkite blaster. Other people on our team have other things to do, so. Oh, so we're gonna get a cognition point back, so we have uh, even more more things to do, too. Uh, pass. I'll keep you here next to the battery. It's fine. Move you here. I don't think we're going to be able to actually get to this stuff over here in time before it gets an attack on us. Unfortunately, or, uh, fortunately for us, it mostly just kind of tickles, so it's not that big of a deal. Where's the cleanse? 
Yeah, go ahead and get that off of you. Uh, we can run it right here and just shoot it in the back. Which is not the most glorious way to tackle a problem, I will admit. But, it does tackle the problem, so. You won't hear me complaining too loudly. Dude's taken out. Corrupt attack. Again, we will heal ourselves up a little bit. And pass it over. And hopefully we can have uh, our Sicarian boy here just kind of fix the issues we're having. Do that. In turn. And we don't want to have them awaken even harder, do we? Where is the canical? There we are. Canical, everyone does two more damage. You didn't even do anything this poor run this poor guy. So run up here and this should be a guaranteed kill. Oh yeah. We didn't even have to canical, did we? Oh well. That's what we get for not remembering stuff about our troops. Kill all enemies. Already done. We ready to get out of here. But cool as hell, man. Alright. Ooh. Oh, wow. So, you get, like, really big rewards for doing those fights. I had no idea. That's very interesting. Holy shit. Good thing, too, because, uh... Just have a lot going on. Is this the Cognition one? It's Blackstone, but I'll take it. Alright, we're not gonna go the wrong way to do a fight just to try and get this down a little bit more. We just want to get through this and done with it. And we should be able to finish this off before it gets to two, so a 1% increase is going to be just fine. Nothing they can really do about that. Alright, scanner destroy. Two, three separate things. Okay, at least there's something different going on. Uh, stand you there. Gonna have you there, healer here. Hold on, Jeremiah, where'd you go? I want you there. Healer man, I want you here. And Leah will stick you there. That's fine. Okay, so. We're going to uh, take a small bit of damage. So small it doesn't even do anything to us, never mind. Feeling quite good after that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we need to move up a little bit in order to actually have access to shooting these boys. Looks like here we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and move up. Can we grab this? No, we have to be a little bit farther up. Can we move over here and still shoot them? Hmm, also no. Um... Oh, <laughs> poor Iris. We do need the cognition. For sure. So I think we're gonna go ahead and max our machine spirits. Do that. And then we are going to go ahead and we're losing out on one, but we're gaining a kill here basically. Alright, so here we go. Blow them down. It. Uh, that awoke somebody, which is interesting considering I thought that it was a, uh, a very separate situation where shooting them would reduce things instead of increase them. Appears I am wrong. We can go over here, we can shoot this, remove that from that as well. Make that a lot easier for us to handle. Of course, it does bring out another Necron. But we can still use our skull to just deal with him before he gets up, so that's pretty good. Take him down. He's no longer an issue. Uh, I think if we have the points, we're going to move up to, like, here. Yeah. And take this. Oh, hello again, Iris. You're very active today. And we can't knock him away, unfortunately. But maybe we're doing damage to him. Might as well hit him twice. 
They don't have Triarchs. I'm not really worried about it, so. Alright, our big healing man right here is uh, up and capable. Let's move him into this uh, cross-firing position where he can use his basic pistol to remove him. Oh, I should have shot first. Ah, I didn't think it through. Oh well, I guess at least this way we can find out uh, just how strong this guy is. Apparently strong enough to tank all of that. That is okay, because I do not think he can tank the axe hit on top of it. Holy shit! Well, even if he could, we're still going to be able to uh, take him out with the attack of opportunity if he ever gets a turn. Which I do not think he will get, but whatever. Yep, there's no way he's going to take all of that damage. Not on the basic trooper. Uh, speaking of, we have our big guy over here who... I think we're gonna just go ahead and pop that and then he's gonna walk all the way over here flamethrower them all to hell yeah right there and that should be plenty to go ahead and take out two basic warriors oh you're kidding me wow color me impressed I like crazy impressed because there's no way you had that much uh, physical and energy armor. You're still gonna go down. But that was still pretty good. Alright, let's finish up. We'll uh, get this cognition point. And then we will use our skull to get another one. And then we will heal ourselves. I kind of want to get a pinnacle just to have a free kill on these guys whenever he walks up to them. That is an interesting theory to, uh, an interesting thing, not a theory, to uh, have into in my considerations. Very, very cool. Call a troop in anywhere. They will obviously be right there. Be a rust stalker. Who will get buffed. And... Then I think we run up to here to be in position for next turn for him to get a free point back for us. And, uh, do we just shoot this or we shoot him? I guess we'll shoot him. Yeah. Now the rest stalker can clean it up. Uh, we, will, we could run up all the way on this. You know what, actually, hold on. I think we can finish this this turn, maybe. Oh, if I would have thought it out more clearly, we could have. We can't. That's fine, though. Take him down. Get the... Oh, wait, hold on. Yes. And then we can scan this. Because we don't have to blow it up. Because we're not going to get even, like, below zero. No, oh, I didn't think this part... Th uh, but it's still pretty good, because our stalker here... Wait, what? 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 <laughs> Did I only have to do that and not kill everybody? That's different. Oh well. We got our fuel. Let's head back up to space. And no increase to our bar up there. That is a fancy and a happy change for us because that was becoming pretty commonplace for huge. Oh. Okay, so his mission thing is just getting us tons of blackstone. Got it. Holy hell. Uh, speaking of... Don't you need one more upgrade to be fully... No, no you do not. Well, well, well. Uh, what else can we do for these people? Do we hold on to it for another potential boy to join us? Let's see what our missions are. Uh, let's go with getting vanguards and more blackstone. Because I feel like she's the one getting us closer and closer to our uh, our crew increases, right? I mean, this is really good as well. Man, why are you going to make the decision so difficult for me? Uh, Corius, now, the flamethrower thing, right? I made a point about that, and we did just get a flamethrower that's uh, two to four in an area, burns over time, machine spirit, all that yada yada stuff. But, 
it's not energy damage. So, I don't know. The arcing pistol. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't know you're on the right guy. The arcing pistol. <sighs> the inertia enhancer is good. It's free. It cleaves all over everybody's face. It gets boosted by our canisters. So it's like... When a canister is boosting it, it has a max of like 4 damage, I think. And then it shoots all around it. Uh, it's so... That's difficult. Like, really difficult. Actually, when the machine spirits up, it's even stronger than that, because it has angered spirit on him. Hmm. Oh, I'm an Arius. I don't know. Because this also has angered spirit on it over here. I'm just thinking, what if we started going down this tree to get that, huh? He'd be immune to opportunity attacks. He'd reveal stuff in melee range. He'd be faster. If he ever gets the machine spirit, he can just blow a hole in an entire group. Oh, it's just all so, so tempting in so many directions. We're going to try it. We're going to get rid of this and replace it with a flamethrower to give him diversity in how he handles problems. And that kind of makes me not care about the inertia enhancer. So, I don't know. We'll get back around to that. But we do have this cognitive canister. And we can upgrade that to get the Omega Cognition Canister that we just found. Three more damage on its next base attack. We'll put it here. Oh, hold on. I went to take something off. Uh, I'll take out the Sanctus Canister for now. Put this here. We weren't even using that canister, so it's not like we lost a whole lot from that situation. I think we're going to upgrade our local big man, Jeremiah, here. And I kind of want to make it to where you reveal stuff whenever he gets into melee range. Just like a little bit, you know? It seems good enough. Uh, troop unit. Okay, that's the, uh, that's his stuff. Never mind. So, we can do that and work him over towards Traveler eventually. Machine Spirit gets stronger. He gets to be faster. Attacks opportunity dodge. Just all that fun stuff. We can make his axe hits free. Which is pretty cute, but not super amazing. I think we're going to go for it. Bam. Run over here and do that. Uh, we can put the bigger one of these on him now. Yeah. Where is it? Ah, there it is. So now his first attack out of uh, stealth, more or less, will be guaranteed to kill a man. I think we're going to sit on 556 and work on getting a better vanguard. Let's go. One, two, three, four. And then the split on these two again. So what are we doing here? Reanimation chamber been identified. Repair restores Necrons. Deny resources to the enemy. Skitari tied up with them. Can your boys handle it? Sure. We can do that. Probably pretty easily. I extrapolate the reanimation chambers in the depths and heavily defended, of course. Would you expect anything else? I like her. A little bit of sassy. Keeps the hubris in check, you know? Denied to the enemy. Uh, doesn't really matter which direction we go here. I guess this gets it out of the way sooner. We'll go for it. Now to spin that wheel. Figure out what we do here. Purity through prayer. Play with the specters. Last time we... Uh, did this we kind of tried to pray it away and we took like psychic damage or something so we're not going to do that uh, and we stop here for invasive data commit to the data let's try this we got cognition for it by being a little bit brave yay payoffs let's move in should actually have a bit of a challenge on this run through you know maybe the more tech priests and stuff we get the harder it's supposed to be I'm not really feeling it though but what I am feeling is Leo heading over here to guard that and maybe our healer being in the same spot move you up move you up er, then we save the rest all right cool now we have a flamethrower and it's ranged. 
Oh my god, yeah, that's so much better. Are you kidding me? That's insane! Wow, okay, uh, so... We... Run over to this direction, I suppose. And... Just hit... Like, all these targets? And burn them all? Am I cheating? It kind of feels like I'm cheating. Let's, uh... Here you go. Yeah, I'd say it's a little bit better than the pistol, probably. Because now they're all burning on top of everything else that's wrong with them. Let's go ahead and just, uh... Ooh, I can't get two of the batteries like I want to. I'm going over here. We should be able to get to the battery from here. I hope. Yes, okay, cool. I'm man strong as hell. Uh... I guess we're about to shoot, so we might as well use this, huh? Okay, plan and blaster, and then we could just take all these guys out, but uh kinda don't want to have to worry about that. Let's move over right here and use the blaster on these guys in the back. Uh killed one. Did not finish him. Let's go ahead and fix that. And we walked out of this first turn with fire and burn everywhere and a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, this is, as this is pretty good first turn. Holy shit. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that. We don't need to be over there. We have an assassination blast, essentially. So let's uh run up here and use our reduce cognition thingy. Ah, uh, just shy. That feels pretty bad. And this guy is uh, quite durable on top of it. I guess we're going to axe him, since we're already here. We've already done that thing. We don't want to use our flamer, I don't think. I'd rather reduce his armor and put some acid on him. And uh, then what? Then we're just threatening him with the axe hit again. I think we may pass. Yeah. Okay, doesn't take, doesn't take damage at the... Jesus, doesn't take damage at the start of his turn takes it at the end, which is not enough to kill him, but enough to make him sad. These focus damage shots hurt a little bit. Alright, so axe, acid, and fire. He may die at the beginning of his turn. Not sure. Oh, we're shooting over here at Leo. Interesting. But we're actually taking damage this fight, so at least we have, you know, stuff going on. Take three over time, get bastage. Alright, so run over here, take this, and then we do the thing where we summon in a boy, right there. Give them the oomph. Uh, we'll actually tuck away in the corner right here, see if we can reach him with a canister. Holy shit, we can. Alright, cognitive canister. That, he is about to send someone directly to hell, and I cannot wait to see it. All troops in range attack somebody. Nah, it's got to be within range to us. Apparently not across a chasm. So let's run up to uh, right here. We'll go ahead and siphon out a little bit more of this. And then we'll go ahead and start dispensing the medicine. So first, on to you. For a six heal, that is enormous. Then we can go for just a basic three heal on you. And do I do another six heal on you? I feel. No, wait, we don't have enough cognition for that. Excuse me. Alright, as much as we would like to just let the burn kill him for, like, you know, establishing dominance, it's better to go ahead and just take him down. He's not going to do a lot of damage with this gun anyway, so... Let's do it like that. Pass. Nope. <laughs> uh, bit overkill, possibly, but... Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Let's stand in the way, so we're kind of like forcing a shot, and pass. 
Ooh, scarabs. Have not been keeping my eyes open for those. Alright, that's us getting one back. And... I guess we'll put an infiltrator in. Why not? Alright, we're gonna run up of here. And then use one of our what's-its to bop him. That removes him from the uh, the equation real quick. And then we can cone blast someone else if we really feel the urge. Uh, looks like this does hit. We're gonna go with what the UI is telling us. And yeah, okay, it does hit. Never mind. I was pretty sure I was about to be uh, baited into something, but it turned out to be okay. Oh, hello. Taking a pretty chunky amount of damage there. But he's got some self-repair going on, so it's not that big of a deal. Doesn't have cognition points, which is a bit of a big deal. But it could definitely be worse. We're going to shoot you. Put the big damage on you for crits and stuff. And we're not quite fast enough to get all the way over here, which is a shame. So instead, we're going to go over here and just threaten him with our axe. And doctor ourselves up a little bit. Because what are they going to do to us? If we can just keep powering through it with enormous heals like this, huh? Pass. Crit. Down and cognition. Alright, so, uh, we got this man over here, making mistakes, taking big hits, surviving though, like, in a stunning turn of events, I really thought he was gonna go down, double tapped, flames, all that fun stuff, as a recipe for being killed, but apparently he is a lot tougher than I was gonna give him any credit for, let's go ahead and just gun this down, I don't want the black stone, I want to not have any Tome Awakening level, and then, we will just become untargetable again. Full-on assassin energy. Alright, we got a cleaving blast here, or are we going to do a focused one? We got doing a focused, which hurts, but it's not too bad. Our Roy here is completely healed up. Now, how do we want to handle the situation? Alright, if we want to, we can... Oh, we're just out of range on everything once again. Feels pretty bad when that happens, but I think we're still just fine, honestly. Uh, let's shoot you. Yeah, just remove the scarab from the uh, from the battlefield. I don't want him provoking attacks for opportunity or running off to get heals or anything of that nature. Instead, what we'll do is we'll run up and we will give them the doctoring. A solid six heal. A lot better than any of our other people could have done. And then we can run over here and grab this cognition point. And be pretty safe. Um, considering canicling this to heal up our stalker over there, but I don't feel like that's necessary yet. I feel like this is going to send this dude to hell. Oh yeah, there we go. That's better. That's our girl. And now we can run over here behind this guy and threaten him. Uh, in a similar fashion. More scarabs. Oh, well. Alright, fine. Alright, so we got the extra cognition there. Which is apparently fascinating. Now, we're going to use this to actually attack this turn. Thank you, though. And we're going to use it to attack with our Machine Spirit Blast. Which will do a lot of extra damage from the Angered Spirit ability on him. And looks like it doesn't quite put him down, but as far as I'm concerned, he's already dead. Hit him with this, uh, the Servo Skull, which is incredibly powerful. This is still on cooldown, unfortunately, so we can't do that as well, but it doesn't really matter in turn. Zealous Metals, which we will use to heal ourselves up. Man, he is so hard to kill. He's a Necron in and of himself. 
we'll take this because I don't feel our, uh, that I want to send him going running in that direction right now anyway. Now we can just uh, kapew him. He is not going to die from it. Holy shit. I suppose it's just as well that we did that because now we know to run up here and also threaten him with our axe on top of everything else we were doing. Because that could have been real bad. And then we will just uh, we go ahead and hit him with it. I suppose we do to lower his armor, right? And if we crit, he just kind of is going to die after that. Alright, Fess. Uh, I guess we'll run you up here. And then you will be shooting... Oh, never mind. Just out of range. Alright. Whack into a wall. No honor for you. Uh, good thing we put him there after all because we gave him the axe. It's now his turn. Let's go ahead and grab some cognition there. Which we will also use to take him down. We have Phosphor Serpenta, but we don't have the stuff to use it, and that's fine. Let's go ahead and grab another cognition point from that. We're just kind of going into the motions, I'm sure you can tell. And then we will... Let's see. We'll heal up a all the HP of our troopers. I feel like that matters a little bit more. They take bigger hits and they have a smaller HP pool. So we did that, and now we can also heal up Mr. Jeremiah there. And now we can just macro stub, blow him down, and then threaten him with the axe, which if he tries to run away, and he might, I'm not sure what his agenda is, then we'll just tear him apart. Pass. No! Uh, never mind. We're gonna run up on him and hit him with the blades, which is gonna be a guaranteed kill. Especially when you crit all the bugs at the same time. And then we get to keep our three cognition we started the fight with. Overall, not bad. We're worse for wear by like a cumulative like three or four HP. Such a prize. Give it the slab. Okay, uh. Examine, take it, or destroy it. Deformed or not, a still work in Xenos might not actually be dead. That's, you know, that's good enough for me. Necron initiative decreased. Overall, a positive experience. Now, what do we want to do? Uh, probably just pop on through with this glyph and do the final fight, yeah? Yeah, 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 I see it. Glyph. Oh, I don't remember. Was the Death Star bad? I don't know. What does this remind me of? Uh. Well, I guess it kind of has like a TIE Fighter thing to it. Like shooting at something. Why am I going full Star Wars with this? Ouch, that really hurts. I guess I'm punished for getting my uh, references crossed between which is a better space fantasy. And I'm punished for it. I wonder what else is going to happen to me. Or a bunch of scanner destroy, but if he holds still, we might be able to just gun him down with the lad here. Uh, oh, maybe not. That is quite far away. But at least this is a different um, situation, because we've been stuck doing this one thing kind of over and over. Put Leo here. The healer. We'll run with you, and I guess... Actually... Yeah, like this. No. He will run with you. Alright. Got that going, and we'll save the AP to do other fancy stuff. I totally missed this little area behind me. Whoops. Okay. Alright, so. What's the play? What do we do? There's not a big battery of cognition for me to go ahead and yank right here. Or anywhere on the map, actually. Which means I don't feel terrible about doing this. I feel better about it, but at least I don't feel terrible. Now we can run up in here and see what we can shoot from this angle. Which I think is what I'm going to do. 
Oh, we can actually hit this guy. Oh my god, yes. Uh, Volkite Blast everything back here. And minimum damage is going to take out all of these scanners. I think. Four to five. Maybe not. Should take out some of them. And if we crit... Oh, yeah. And it, our Awakenings went down two points after that. And then we can just go ahead and take him down. Very, very cool. And that actually is uh, even better for us than I originally projected because now we have enough left to flamethrower some fools, which we will definitely do. Ooh, got a crit on the burn as well. Alright, cool. So now we can pull back a little bit and maybe be out of range from the do nasty stuff to us. I'll we'll just use this to grab some cognition off of that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, actually, and done it with the next turn. No, actually. No, nah, it's fine. Because now this way we can uh, guarantee a crit of the axe once we come out of it next turn. And it'll do a lot of damage. So we'll just stand here. Threaten him. Oh yeah, he's going to go down. Uh, in turn. We'll get the bonus one from Enhanced Cognetic stuff right there, which will let us... Go ahead and call a troop in somewhere. Who? I'm not sure. I'm thinking just an infiltrator over here to go ahead and just destroy these. And then we're going to go ahead and give them the buffs. And uh, hide out right here. There's no reason for us to go much deeper into this whenever I can just handle stuff myself, you know? And what's this? We can use this one cognition point. Is it worth it? I think it might be. But not on anything right here, I don't believe. Let's move up just right here. And we'll save that point. Uh, gun this down. And then we'll just become untargetable for a turn. Deal with it. Pass. Oh my god, giving him that cleaving gun was the best decision. Oh! Okay, well. Hello, sweet dog. Uh, I thought that was going to go a little bit differently. Apparently I'm wrong. But at least I was right about the guaranteed crit on this guy. Going down. So we no longer have to worry about him. Oh. I see. Well, at least the batteries are back up. Um... Do we bring in more stalkers to handle the situation? Or do we hold on to our blasters? I think we hold on to our blast because of how damn strong they can be. Flamethrower can't really hit anybody from this angle. Which is very sad. Um, hmm. If we run here, what can we do? Flames that hits them both again. Seems pretty good. Okay, I'll go for that. Not even 100% sure that's doing a huge damage or anything. But it feels nice. So we'll duck into here. Prepare a little bit more. Use our cognition point reduction for our axe. We'll lead up to make sure it goes down with a pistol shot. No reason not to. We'll even charge up our machine spirit by doing such a thing. And do some big damage on top of that, so that feels even more, more incredible. Uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's the next attack, not the attack that requires cognition points. I should have seen that coming, and I didn't. That's my bad. But we should be threatening attack of opportunity anyway, so it should be still fine. Oh. Oh boy, that's a... That is a chunk of damage right there. Alright, Burn's still not taking him out. Now, I'm no longer content with what's going on, but at least we have a kill on him. Get our cognition, get a healed up. Uh, I think we're going to try and do this without a canicle to see if we can get away with doing such a thing, because we normally just abuse them. Um... 
We'll move up here because why not? Maybe we can do something else to one of them. Nope, not quite. No one's quite in range, sadly. But what do we want to do instead? Because we're going to get it back immediately on his turn, so we should do something with it. I guess we'll do Command of Power. Why not? Make our Infiltrator be more of an assassin boy, shooting somebody in the back. Pass turn. Get another one of these. And then we'll just, you know, doctor ourselves up. For an enormous six heal. Holler at you, boy. Get a revenge on this guy for shooting at us. Get that cognition point back. Yet another, another one because we didn't use our skull last turn. And then, um, I'm tempted to walk up and just hold the axe to him. Yeah, you know what? I think we will do that. Uh-oh. Right? Huh. Oops. <laughs> well, that sucks more than a little bit. I guess we'll pull back and just hold on to that uh, those points for a Sicarian Infiltrator. And on that note, I think we're going to pull up here with our boosted damage and shoot this guy in the back. Five to seven's a lot. Especially when you crit. Alright, then we'll just tuck in behind here and we'll shoot this in the following turn to keep this down. Again, really sucks in order uh, that I have to do that, but... Uh, I mean, I have to do it because of the machine spirit. Machine spirit's most of the part I care about. is uh, kind of like a waste of damage or whatever, but it's fine. And he goes down to acid. That all worked out. We took a little bit of damage, but I mean, he takes damage all day. It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, it's just a warrior. Was afraid for a second that it'd be another immortal. The immortals are just a bit tough enough to give us pause there. Now we can use a cognition point to. I guess we could save you some grief by just taking this thing out. And you can go use your pistol on him and then go give him the old axe. That is pretty good. So I'll do that. I got the flamethrower ready. Uh, I think if we stood here, we would have access to a pretty good flamethrower shot. If I'm wrong, we're just going to get immortal like shot up by a pretty healthy chunk. I think we're fine, though. Um... God, I wish I had another point. Uh, is it worth it for me to... Yeah, you know what? I'm being a little cheeky by trying not to do things a certain way. So I think it's probably better if I swallow the old pride, run around here, look for something to spend one point on, and I don't have it, so that sucks. So Whatever, we'll just use the blessings of the Omnissiah. We'll do that, and then we will just, uh, cleaving mega shot all these dudes. And if any are left, then we can hit them with the old fire blast. Okay, there are two left. Didn't really expect that. Oh, it still wouldn't have hit him anyway. Damn, that feels real bad. Uh, what if we go, like, here? Alright. We're getting something out of all this expenditure. But not any kills, e. Right, we'll tuck into a corner here. We're not going to use any more of our um, points for him for now. Does the burn get him? No, he does not. He is still too tough for the burn. That's a bit worrying, but that's okay. We're going to grab this cognition point. Take a look at uh, what abilities we have stock on. Run over here. Give him the old bullet. Phosphor shot, do a little bit of extra damage. And, uh, uh... That's significant. So I think... We're just gonna run up here and threaten him with the axe. Like, what's the crit chance? 100%? Yeah. We'll just threaten him and he'll kill himself on his turn. We can heal ourselves up a little bit and still have, a, like, a really high crit chance there, right? Two. 
Uh, still 100%. I think we're gonna risk one more. Just the one. Let's see. Alright, still 100%. Is this permanent buff to crit chance? Is that a glitch? What's going on? Why is it so high? I'm so happy about it, but I'm very confused. But that is as much as I'm going to risk to heal. I'm not going to use cognition points to do any more healing, for sure. Ouch. <laughs> That's a lot of pain. Uh, burn. Not out of commission on that, either. Jeez, man. Oh, well. We got the crit axe, so we're still fine. We got our infiltrator able to move in, but it's not quite far enough, which feels awful. We'll pass. Use the skull on... We'll keep the skull on you, I suppose. That's fine. I think we're going to go ahead and go all in, just tame the machine spirit. And the reason we're doing that is so he can do his free cleaving arc shot, because I think we're about to run in and have him do that. Or maybe we're just going to Phosphor Serpent to somebody? Hmm, I don't know. I think we're going to do that, because that's a lot of damage, and it might just take him out. It does, which is really sick. It's not as sick that we had to spend so much um, uh, cognition on it. Ooh. Can we cleave it in such a way? Maybe from here? We'll see. Oh, we did it. I am stunned. How are these people still up after Fire Blast and, like, everything else that's happened to them? Incredible amounts of uh, durability. Finally putting him down. Jesus Christ. All right, Cognition there. We'll go ahead and pop him with our tentacle. Remove him. A nice solid one, too. I would love to be able to take him down, but she doesn't have range. This is part of the reason we went on this mission, is from now on I think we're just going to take vanguards. They do a pretty chunky chunk of damage, which is uh, really all I care about at this point. I just want stuff to be dead and gone whenever I'm ready for it to be dead and gone. Uh, we can run up here. Right there. And maybe our last blast on our pistol will be enough to take out this guy. Still not enough. Absolutely crazy. Oh, past turn. So much healing. And again, we're going to do this because we're going to keep that below one for as long as possible. Critting for eight makes it feel like real, real bad. But it's, it's fine. Chaotic Scarabs, eh, you know what, I don't really care. We're just gonna run all up in here and be distracting with our full health self. Pass turn. These dudes are actually gonna attack, I'm surprised, wow. Oh, attack and apply acid, that's, that's less cute, don't like that one. All right, get the Cognition. Zealous Metals. I mean, we're going to go ahead and let Nib life him because he's the lowest for sure. Only eight, but that's, you know, better than not getting any heal at all. Do we have anything else to worry about besides Scarabs? I think we're pretty fine. Uh, let's yank this with our scanner because it has no other purpose. We can't Cognition kill that, but we can run over here and hit him with one of our tentacles. Which will be a free kill. Ah, uh, yeah. Our big arcing gun is not as good when there are friends everywhere. And he has two armor. We could just spray him, but that feels like an enormous waste of resources. Let's see, they only have the one scarab and him left. But he's getting a turn next. Ugh, my god. I think I have to. Otherwise, we'll take more damage when him shooting somebody. So it sucks to have to use all of this for him, but at least we get the critical kill to get the cognition back, in addition to just him being dead. We'll pass turn. This bug is about to have a bad time. Well, maybe not right now, because we're way over here, but, you know. Soon, this bug is going to have a bad time. Alright, nothing left to guard against on that side. He did a really good job. 
so much damage, so many big crits. I can, I can rely on him to crit pretty much every single time, which is very powerful just by itself. Uh, Sicarian's gonna get another turn. We can just have, we can move up and just have him attack, right? Oh, I need to know this for the future, actually. I don't know if he can shoot him if he's right next to him. Oh, huh, he can. Good to know. Pass. I get the cognition point. Cleanse him. No acid, please. No acid's fine by me. I'll grab this as well. Then we will walk up here. Probably not be in range for our pistol, though. So... That feels kind of bad, but we can still heal the target for three. And still not be able to do anything else past turn. He is going to get attack of opportunity, probably get acided once again. Oh, damage absorbed. What? Is it because there's one of them? I don't know. What I do know is this should be enough to take him out, and then we're done with this mission. And we managed to keep the awakening level at the zero again. Oh my gosh. Like getting the extra black stone is pretty, uh, pretty important. But since we've gotten all four of our guys done with at least one tree, I don't think it really matters that much anymore. Katari thanks us. Eh, you're welcome. You bring to mind the words of some guy. Dogmartus Lector, I think it said. Which, is a religious, religious boy is what that should translate into. Full heals across the top. It's like... We still get most of our Blackstone back. And we didn't take any, like, things, but we still managed to walk away with an increase in our Blackstone, which feels incredible. And I was right. Oh my god, we have to do this next. That's another Tech Priest and another Vanguard increase. But I think that's going to be all for right now. We've got some pretty great stuff going on. Uh, let's take another second to analyze our boys and see if we want to put anything extra onto them. Oh, we, actually, you know what? We have another Tech Priest coming, so... No reason to do that. We're not going to get that much Blackstone from this. And we have to deal with a new enemy type, the Necron Vanguard, which either has a big gun like him or just runs at us to be really distracting. I'm unsure. I guess we'll find that out uh, tomorrow. But that's going to be all for today. Thank you for stopping by and checking out the channel. If you like what you saw, consider liking and subscribing. And if you want to see other strategy series, I'm probably moving over the one that I'm doing over to Twitch soon. So uh, if you want to go check that out, it's the XCOM Files, which is a long, slow-burning game. But uh, the decisions you make there are a lot more impactful than the base game, so it's really interesting. But until then, I want you to take care, and I'll see you next time.